Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Howard Canucks and today's vlog is all about the NZXT pack. We're doing a little promotional video for it. How would you buy it? I have some really cool elements to do with cables and stop motion graphics stuff. So before we move on any further, here's a message from our sponsor. All right, so this is the puck. Um, it's this very unique accessory that is magnetized. So this portion is magnetized. It is rubberized, uh, feels nice to the touch. It has this uh, cable management uh, channel through over here so you can route longer cables. You can also split in half like so. So for example, if you were to mount one piece on top of the case, one piece at the bottom, you can sort of route one of the channels here. And so the general message we're trying to send with this promotional video is the puck rules all no more cable mess type of in your, in your space and because it's magnetic it can be attached to different surfaces so that's going to be also part of the, um, the promotional piece where I'll be sticking into a bunch of things and I'm hoping it's gonna look really good. Let's start shooting. Oh look it's snowing outside. This looks so beautiful. Let's go on the balcony. This is gorgeous. I love when the snow just slowly falls down. You know, it's not aggressive in any way, it's very calming. All right, back to the office, let's go. So on the agenda today are two things. First is filming the chair review, the Trigger 350 SE. And uh, as you can see, it's snowing out, so we have nice ambient lighting coming from the outdoors. You know, no sunlight messing up with my white balance, which is awesome. Uh, and then two, I have to film the uh, the cable spot for the puck and so what I'm trying to do is um, uh, assemble these cables as if like they've taken over the office and uh, obviously they'll be like macro shots of cables uh, spread around the office space so they'll have to literally fill the entire um, floor with cables but just certain sections where the angle of the camera is and looks like my bag of cables or now that our two boxes of cables have come in very very handy now there is a reason why I have all this, uh, all these boxes stashed away into this one particular area because I'm utilizing this corner to shoot the chair stuff. So um, I think it's got nice framing here because of the corner, if, especially if I do like low angle stuff. Um, so that's where this chair will be shot, uh, a couple of shots there. Um, and also it just gives me a new appreciation for this extra space because usually this area is filled with all these boxes. So. Uh, what we're doing for the spot is uh, the puck appears uh, in this uh, cable infested space and uh, the puck rules them all. So the first shot is me opening the door and like moving some of the shuffling some of the cables around that are beside the entrance door. These cables. So two boxes of cables have been occupied by the door. This is the opening sequence. Lighting here, I have one softbox firing a little bit off an angle. So we're not giving the cables too much light because I'm trying to create this like eerie atmosphere of the cables taking over the office. This is the angle of the shot that I uh, settled with. I decided to bring the camera on a tripod so we have a little bit of depth and like coming on at, at an angle so we can see all these cables. I added an extra light behind the door so we have a little bit of separation from where I'm supposed to come from. So yeah, yeah, let's do this first shot of me opening the door and coming into the office. What I'm trying to do is capture a little bit uh, different angles on when the door is uh, opening, just in case I need to fill in a little extra shots um, if I'm editing to music, for example. My original idea is to have one opening shot, like what I did in the beginning, but I'm trying to be extra proactive in case I need to substitute something else in there. Like I want to get a nice macro of all the cables. For the next shot, I'm supposed to peek through the door and be like super unimpressed with the, the cables have taken over the office. Uh, the lighting here is very straightforward. One softbox firing from below to light up my, uh, my, my chin and stuff. And then I'm uh, gonna place my, my handy portable light behind me so that I have a little bit of edge light. Um, well, to continue on with that orange type of glow coming from behind the door. So that one was pretty straightforward. Me popping out, oh, this is very well lit. And I don't mind that we are uh, too bright on the edge there. I'm just gonna have to check the video to make sure I'm in focus. Uh, but let me show you how uh, the lighting most of the time is done in this uh, type of fashion, obviously. 
uh, light on top of a box on top of a stair. By the way, I am totally aware of my hair situation, but it kind of goes into the character for this uh, particular spot because uh, maybe he just woke up and like goes into the office and the cables are taking over, you know? It kind of fits in. I hope so. So what I'm trying to create is this kind of disorder of cables as they have taken over. So for example here, utilizing a bunch of cables to sort of block out the Kraken uh, cooler boxes. Um, and the next shot, I'm doing it on my desk. Obviously, that would be the most, uh, the next most natural thing to occupy for an office space. Um, so the way I have it set up is it's a low angle shot of the keyboard and I'm going to place a bunch of cables here and I'm going to move one of them and it will add a snake sound, like the snake movement, so that the cable is kind of like alive and moving and um, they're not just static objects but giving life to the disorder. So I'm hoping that will look cool. Initially I wanted to have the box uh, of the S340 Elite because it actually comes with the puck so it makes sense to include it in the shot but um, it doesn't really fit because I'm really going for a macro shot of like the cables moving and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's see how this works out. All right, so this shot went really well. I discovered that you can open a bunch of Windows taskbar settings and stuff just by randomly dropping cables on the keyboard. But here, I worked out really well with one of the HDMI cables that I was able to pull slowly. So it's like a snake kind of crawling through all the cables. Um, I'm hoping that I'll find some good sounds to substitute for that actual motion. Um, and now let's uh, go back to shooting me as the actor in this ad spot. Okay, so this next shot is probably going to be the most uh, difficult to achieve. So I'm supposed to be walking towards the camera. Uh, I pre-focused myself and um, this is right after I walk over all the cables. And what I'm supposed to do is basically this is the, the spot, this is the chance where I get fed up with all the cables. Um, and a cable drops on me. So I have these headphones um, that I'm going to be dropping on myself. So I have to throw them into the air and walk into them as they land on me as I yell out my punchline. Um, I just tried a couple of times. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. It'd be great if I uh, had my wife here to drop these on me, but uh, I am soloing this one. How would you bite? All right, I think I have something. I said puck it a thousand times. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm saying the other word. I mean, the whole idea is to have that association, but uh, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm saying the F word. Uh, I hope the clear pronunciation of pocket is uh, evident in this shot. All right, so now I'm on my last shot where I'm gonna set up like a mountain of cables with the puck on the top. Um, I have, I think, plenty of cables to set up my mountain. So let's do it. Bucket. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, this episode of all the sporadic things that are happening in this studio. You guys know the drill in terms of me showing you what's going on behind the scenes. So it's a little bit more authentic once you watch the actual videos. So make sure to check uh, the videos that were talked about uh, linked in the description below. I'm Dimitri with Hero Canucks. Thank you so much for watching. I'm on my way to India now, uh, after which going to Vegas for CES. So stay tuned for everything in between. Make sure to do some vlogs while in India too. Maybe visit like a nice PC store, see how they do things over there. Um, yeah, wish me luck. See you next video.